I've just got a passion for football now. I've, I've picked up his title of being a trailblazer and like holding a marker up there for people to come and follow and you know, I'm happy for that. I love what I do, if it inspires others, other females, other women of colour. I can see that next generation coming through and they've been inspired by what I've done and what I've, what I've achieved. It, it makes me very happy. If you think of me being England captain, you, know, you had Hope Powell, you had um, Brenda Sampari, you had Kerry Davis. They were all before me. I'd watched these players and I was, I was a youngster at the time and I was just inspired by them to actually be part and be a, a playing part of that team being on that pitch, not because they were black and, you know, they were representing, but because of their style of play and how they just integrated into the team and just let things flow, you know, they didn't go out there with a chip on their shoulder, they went out there and played football. This, this, this gay black woman taking charge of a national team, we had your dreads as well, there was no escaping who actually, you I, were. Actually, I grew my dreads after. Did you? To make a point, actually. What, what was the point you were trying to make? I, I just, uh, yeah, I was a bit militant and like, um, you know, thought I'd, I'd, I've just got to, to show that I'm very proud of who I am. I'm a black woman, first and foremost. And, you know, I mean, you'd be giving me this position, take notice. Do you realise that you've inspired so many people? Not just women, men as well. Not until it's been said to me, I've not realised um, the effects it's had. Um, because you don't look at yourself in that because you see your life as being, it's your life, it's your story, it's your tell. And giving it to somebody else, I'm not trying to make them do that. Um, but the fact it's inspired them to them and they've won ahead and done it. They've now got their own story to tell. So they in themselves, in their own walk of life, are trailblazers. I think it's really nice, good, important that people, whether you're young or old, have somebody that you can look at, follow and go, yeah, it's possible. When I first got called into the England squad, I was 18. Um, I had my first child when I was 18 as well, and that was a stumbling block because people were saying to me, you've now had a child, you can't play football anymore. No it's motherhood or football, and you've chosen motherhood because you've had your child. And for me, that was like, I don't want it to be here, I want to go ahead and play football, so I made my child a part of my life. I'm now coaching the game, I've now got two young daughters, and it's like, how are you doing that? It's, got, it's the support network and the drive that you want for yourself to move forward. You know, why should someone say, just because you've got this, you can't have that? So there's been so many little things that I've had to, I don't know, I feel like I've had to fight. You're not taken seriously because you're a woman in football. You're not, not valued because you're a woman and a black woman in football. People ask me, you know, Hope, how did you cope with all of that? You know, my response is, if you're not in it, you can't affect it, you can't affect change, you can't make it better, not only for myself, but for the next female, for the next black female. Women's game now, it's changed, so you can aspire to make a career from that. You know, when I was growing up, that career option wasn't there. You know, for a woman to be a part of the sports industry was kind of unheard of. It's like, when I said, I want to be working in the sports industry, it's like, well, no, you need to be in a bank or, a secretary and I'm like well that wasn't me. A lot of female players you know first of all banned not allowed to play um, you know used to train on concrete in a school now they train on grass and you know I just don't think the present generation do not realize what has gone before to allow this. We've done a lot of work as black women in the game and it needs to not just women but men as well it needs to be given out just so people can see young people coming through you can achieve and you can do all women and, and men have played their part to shift the women's game to where it is now because this is only possible because of what went before and we must never forget that <laughs>